Hey there, Internet. So today we're doing a 360 camera battle. It is between the Kandao Kucam 8K and the Insta360 1RS 1 inch. Now, this is a brand new camera. It just came out a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago. I purchased it. This is a camera that came out a couple years ago. I also purchased it. This one does 8K, this one does 6K. They both use the same one inch sensor. You see how the lenses look the same. So I am doing a comparison with these um, in the worst conditions possible because I don't care how they look in great conditions. Everybody can see what they look like in great conditions. That's what everyone does on YouTube. But I want to know what's it like shooting at nighttime in very low light. What's it like shooting in a windy environment where all I have is the in-camera audio that I need to sync with a lavalier mic? Is it going to be good enough to even sync up? Those are the questions that I have as a filmmaker, as a consumer, and as a 360 filmmaker and lover of these cameras. Also, to throw a nice little spicy onion in the mix, I'm going to test out the Insta360 1X2. Now, this camera... I love, I use it very often. I would say I use it almost as much as this one. Um, but this camera has a smaller sensor. It is from the same makers as Insta360, this one. But a lot of people have asked questions online. How does this compare against that, etc.? So let's take a look at all three of these and how they stack up in low light. Here's the footage. So as you can see, the Insta360 1X2 doesn't do a great job. It's pretty dark, the res isn't great, nothing is really sharp. I always look in the background, how sharp are things in the background? So you look at those windows behind me and you can see they're just not that great. Let's take a look at the Kandao QCam 8K. Now you can see it's a little bit better exposure on my face here, but dang is it still soft windows in the background you can see are not very sharp they're very soft still and so now let's take a look at the insta360 one rs one inch gosh that name needs to be fixed but man look at the sharpness of those edges in the background this is all in video mode all in auto mode and i would say the winner definitely is the one inch you can see my face a lot better exposure-wise. You can see the background sharpness uh, of the windows. So this is totally the winner in these conditions. I also have another comparison video shot at the Berkeley Marina. Here's also a sample of the windy audio from each of the cameras. Um, all of these are pretty bad, so it was hard to say which one was the best. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hey there, Internet. I'm here with my friend Emily Oldman from Hopscotch Interactive. It is a super windy day out in the Berkeley Marina, and I am testing the Insta360 1RS 1-inch. That's what it's called. Maybe it's just the Insta360 RS 1-inch. It's a bad name. But how well is my audio here? Look at this cute little squirrel coming up there. Oh my goodness. It's like a ground squirrel. I wish I had some food for you. Oh, that's adorable. How well do you see the Golden Gate Bridge over there? How is it doing with the wind and the shakiness? Is it kind of shaky here? Now we're testing the Kandao 8K QCam. You can see it's a little shaky with the wind we got going here. I think this one probably getting the most shake because it's a bit more of a wind sail type shake. <laughs> but um, does the 8K look better than the 6K? From here is the angle pointed at the Golden Gate Bridge. And you can see all three of them and you compare and you see that the 1RS just looks a lot better even in these far off conditions. I don't know if the wind has picked up more in the time since. You can see Twin Peaks has got more fog go over it. So if you look at Golden Gate Bridge, can you see that better than with the other cameras? And how is the audio? Can you hear it? I will say one thing. I had the exposure slightly higher on the Kandao. I don't know how this happened, but it was at 0.3 plus. So slightly higher, not too bad. 
but I still think given all of these things that the one inch really looks a lot better and is the camera I'm gonna use whenever I go vlogging or whenever I go on a professional 360 video shoot. So that is my takeaway from this. I love the Kandao, I think it's a great camera, but I'm sadly gonna be retiring it uh, in favor of the 1RS. One inch, God, why did they name it that? It is such a good camera. I will give one thing I don't like about this camera though, I'll say, since this whole video is, is basically glorifying this camera. One thing I don't like is how you actually have to get to the SD card. I liked how on their old camera, just to show you the comparison, you push in the battery and you pop that out and there's your micro SD card. Easy, easy Insta360. Everyone likes easy. You got your battery up and you push it back in. It's easy to get to. Okay, now let's try that same thing on this one. And I'm gonna put my protective case on. So you have to push the buttons on the side. Come on. Dang it, why? Why for the love of God? Okay, there we go. So now I took that off, right? But I'm still not done. Now I need to take off this piece. I'm always afraid that this is gonna snap because you kind of have to bend it forward a little bit and then pull out. And you see what's inside of there is that. So it kind of feels weird every time you're bending it forward, are you bending that, that uh, USB-C? But then from there, you can finally get to your micro SD card. So I wish that they would make that a little easier. Um, that's my only qualm with this camera. Otherwise, I think it's amazing. I love it and I love the sharpness. It feels more like a DSLR to me. And um, I hope that they continue to use the one inch sensor on all of their dual lens cameras in the future. Make four of these, put them this way and that way, and then give me it in 11K. I would love that. Uh, anyway, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, if you just wanna give me a like, I would really appreciate a like or a subscribe. Just hit that button right there in the corner. We really appreciate that. Um, we do these videos where we don't pay for the cameras, unlike some of our bigger friends who make huge YouTube channels with tons of subscribers and they just send them the cameras, which is great. I wish Insta360 would just send me this camera. You could do that next time, Mike. But uh, anyway, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.